Pameua uyu mtoto na uyu mtoto angu ni mtoto wa shule angeenda hata shule ke leo lakini uyu ni university sasa tumepotesa mtu wa maana na tumepotesa watu wa wili na hao watu ni watu wadogo watoto wao ni wadogo hata hata mwingine bado hata hajawacha matiti bado anakaa chini na hii tunataka kuuliza serikali sisi ni wanyama au sisi ni watu sisi ni watu wa ruto au sisi ni ya, watu wa wanyama wa huko msituni anaonyesha tu sisi watu wa baringo hapa 
ni watu wa msituni tu kwa sababu hata hapo waliuliwa hao wawili ni ile mwezi wa tatu waliuliwa hapo hapo watoto wengine hata wadogo tena wawili hapo hapo sasa tunataka kuuliza kama kama sisi ni watu serikali hebu kucheni mpaka hapa 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 kwetu naitwa Nathan hapa yatia mpaka hapa ngaratuko mkuje muangalie hii watu wanakula hapa na wanasema ni amani ni amani kani ni amani kani hii watu wanasema ni amani ama ni opposite patala ya amani ni kuana ama ni nini hao mtoto sasa wana sisi tumelia mpaka tunalia tunalia damu hata mimi sasa nimeata nimetoa damu hata kwa karibu hata macho yangu kwa sababu ni watu wengi wame wamekuwa panon kwa hii Kenya hii hii Baringo hii sisi mnasema amani amani sisi tunasikia kila siku nyinyi mnasema amani na amani hakuna na idadi ya watu vijana wachanga kama kwa mfano huyu kijana wa dhadia ni wengi mno ukipata out of wenye wamekufa unapata 90% ni vijana na ni promising kama huyo kijana wa university he is the only person in this village in Ito Kosile mwenye amekanyaga mugu yake imekanyaga university so alikuwa dhadia amebakisha mwaka moja amalize shule kibabi university but size ameuliwa alikuwa aende leo kuna mtu alikuwa anamuuliza hapa kwani shule unaenda lini akaambiwa akasema anaenda kesho kesho ambaye ni leo so akauliwa jana usiku saa mbili so ndoto ya ikijiji imeishi hapa baadaye akaua hawa akaweka risasi kichana yangu na hiyo kichana yangu ambaye ni ya university sasa kutoa eh, anataka kutoa eh, asali ili hata itembee kwenda shule. Baada ya kisha sasa kaoa. Na ninasema kuhusu hii watu naitwa pandits. Ebogot. Kila siku anaelekea kuwa watu. Na serikali ambaye ya rais William Ruto iko wapi? Na Sahi kuna wengi kuna watu wengi sasa wanaanza kuhama na anawacha nji yao. Na serikali ambao wana, wa, wanasema tunalinda finadamu, tunalinda mwananchi na mali yao. Sasa iko wapi? Kila siku watu wanalia, kila siku watu wanalia. Ni nini Kenya? Ni nini rais? Sisi tunafanya nini? want and the, the the day before yesterday we were in koloa in uh, koloa ward in uh, specifically in kimnai preaching peace to the communities living around there and commissioning the construction of security roads while we are working hard to contain security and to make sure that the an area is peaceful some other criminals are pulling us down As we said the other day when we were having a peace meeting at Kibnai we are calling upon the government first of all to target the criminals who are perpetuating these heinous crimes arrest individual criminals the moment we arrest and and, and prosecute or deal with them in the whatever manner is is is, is possible then we shall be able to solve the problem But when the when when the criminals know that they can be able to get away with murder they will do it with abandon the second thing that we are saying is uh, the disarmament of people with arms anybody who has got a, an illegal firearm must be having a purpose and the only purpose for a, for a firearm is to kill it is not a tool for agriculture It is not a tool for anything. It is not even a tool for self-protection. It's a tool for eliminating human being or killing. We are not actually asking. It is the right of every citizen to st to live in peace, not to live in an environment of uh, of uh, fear that the next person who is living not very far from him has a gun and he can deploy that gun to end the life of a person uh, immediately. So we are asking again. And once again I know that there are security forces within that area 
who have been given the responsibility of disarmament. Let this happen, and let this happen with immediate effect, because if some people have guns and others have no guns, then there is no security for the ones who have no guns. Kwenda usiku, kumbe wakora, tiare wame, 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 wame siya chukua sendri uko. Sasa wakawele yao watu, wakapiga, wakawua watu wawili. Mbae moja, ni kijana ya Kepa B, University Mwalimu, atati ya student. Alabu mungine ni NPR, National Police Service. So wawa waka wawa, na hii maneno si me, wame, 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 mesia apeleka uko kabarnet. Kunao hii na hito kositei. Hii locations ni kalari ya pandit. Machibis yao, wako na kifungu. Ya kufungulia pandit. Wakati wa mesia fanya mambo yao, wanafunga. Aya, kwa hii maneno ya attacks, hawa wachukuli kama, kama ni, ni, ni kazi. To me, I believe security supersedes any activities that we do. Sasa kama wewe na wacha location yako na kuwa parapara ya wakora na wakubwa pale does not cut these people. They are above our wakubwa wetu. Sababu kuna kitu wanafanyiwa. Mutu na kuja na uwa mutu kama hii achana inapelekwa, inaenda na pitia location yake na ata ingine ni ya location yake. Hakuna kitu nafanyiwa. We, we, we have suffered in the hands of bandits for too long. Even to a situation now, where we have no livestock, we have nothing, but the people are being killed for nothing. Up to including the NBRs that were given by Kintiki about six months ago. And, and, and the same NBRs are the ones who gave us, who actually been able to restore peace and order in that particular area. And we had even some peaceful engagement with the MB for Teati, Kamket. We had devolved a working relationship. This is again wasting our energies, wasting our relationship that we've got it for some time. I'll call my counterpart to actually bring those culprits to book. Otherwise, we want to call the agencies to move with speed and do a proper operation around that area. Around that area because it has become a hotspot. And even declare that area a no-go zone for the next one year around that area. Anybody found with a gun, anywhere, anytime, or even grazing, you will go. And I'm also telling my people and the NBRs, this is, this, this is a divining moment for us in Baringo North. We can never condone this kind of matter again.